Just the other day, I was so nervous going on my first blind date. And when I stand here today in front of all of our family and close friends, I'm so incredibly grateful I took a leap of faith. Meeting you was like finally having all of the pennies I had tossed in fountains, all the years of blowing out my birthday candles, and all the wishes on shooting stars finally coming together. Since day one, anyone I have introduced you to has been enamored by your heart, just like I've been and continue to be. It literally got to the point where my family and friends were all telling me, Michelle, he's a keeper. Don't screw this up. <laughs> I can't promise you that I will do the dishes 50% of the time, <laughs> but I can promise I will love you with 100% of me for the rest of my life. Every regret, every heartbreak, and every mistake I've ever made has led me to you. And I wouldn't change anything because had I done one thing differently, I wouldn't be the person I am today, standing in front of my soulmate, making one of the easiest decisions of my life. Some people say love gives them wings, but having you as my partner, you ground me. People often talk about perfection or a perfect love, but to me, you're greater than that because you're the best reality. I love you because of, not in spite of your flaws, because I see you try to overcome troubles and you inspire me to, to overcome my own. Together, as husband and wife, we'll work to make this imperfect reality a little more beautiful and a little more us. I vow to face any challenge with you and appreciate each day with you as we grow old together. And I look forward to falling in love with you over and over again for the rest of my life. Thanks for being living proof that unicorns exist and for choosing me as your partner in life. Michelle, our wedding is upon us. After much anticipation, planning, hard work, my dream day has come to fruition. <laughs> Today, I get to marry my best friend, my soulmate. I can't help but wonder why it took so long for us to meet, especially knowing that you were always under my nose. All our lives, we lived only a short distance away. We grew up playing sports in Arcadia and enjoyed similar pastimes. We have many acquaintances in common. In fact, several family members met you long before I did, even Jim. We could have easily met decades ago, but if we did, there's no guarantee that we'd be where we are today. The bottom line is, we are here. We were meant to be. The adventures we had been on before we met made us who we are today, which is to say we are the perfect complement to one another. I believe that we have been shaped by our unique experiences. My bachelor years have been valuable in helping me to plan and achieve, learn and grow, and appreciate what has taken me a long time to attain. And so the timing was right when you came into my life and everything fell perfectly into place. I was ready for us. Michelle, my first impression of you hasn't changed. You are beautiful throughout. Your personality, full of life and laughter, attracts many friends. So I'm lucky to be your best friend. Since we have met, you are the one who gives me strength and courage. You're the voice that motivates me by calling out, here we go, don't drop the bar, one more rep. Don't worry, I'll never give up. Figuratively speaking, I won't drop the bar. I will push harder 
to give you my all so that our future will always shine bright. You inspire me, and so I promise to do everything I can for you. I vow to always love you, to hug you and hold you close on rainy days. <laughs> to smile, toast, and celebrate on sunny days. I vow to encourage you to push your passions. Every day with you reminds me of how much I love you. In the words of John Keats, you are always new. The last of your kisses was ever the sweetest, the last smile the brightest, the last movement the gracefulest. Keats's words ring true, for no matter how often, how frequent, nothing you do will ever grow old. You amaze me each and every day. It took time to find each other, but look where we are now. I can't wait for our future. Each new day will bring adventures that we'll enjoy as a couple who didn't know it back then, but who realized that it was always meant to be. I have learned so much from her, and she is one of my best friends. She has been a gift to our family, adding so much life, laughter, new friendships, and excitement to all of our lives. When she met Keith, I loved him right away because he seemed so much like me. <laughs> but now knowing him, he is so much more patient, kind, intelligent, humble, and thoughtful than I could ever hope to be. She has found an amazing partner. Now as Michelle and Keith begin their marriage, I couldn't be happier for them. I have no sage advice to offer them or secret to happiness. All I can say is be the best person you can be. Think of the other person first. Forgive, be honest, kind, apologize, have a grateful heart and love one another. Approach marriage with an open heart and an open mind. It constantly challenges you, but embrace the challenges because they lead to growth. Appreciate each moment because the best years are yet to come. Speaking of partners, I truly believe from the bottom of my heart that Keith has found the one for him. When Keith visited me in December, we took a short trip to a southern island in Japan. And during that trip, almost the entire time all Keith could talk about was one subject and that was Michelle. And when he wasn't talking about Michelle, he was talking about Michelle's family. <laughs> and I could tell by the way that Keith talked about them that they were very important to him. So as his big brother, I'm very happy that he's found a family so very special. So to Michelle, thank you for accepting my brother's marriage proposal. <laughs> You have made him a very happy man. <laughs>